Hello, everyone. Reporting today for Fun Robotics Network, I'm Ab Haas, and with me here is Team 19098 Eastern Foxes from Romania. They are your 2024-2025 Into the Deep Houston Franklin Division winner. Absolutely insane match play. Just robot is so, so fast. Fastest slides I've seen this season. Hyper-optimized in every single aspect. I can't wait to jump into it on Behind the Bot. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Studica Robotics is everything your team needs to build, learn, and compete. Check out their FTC starter kit, intake hub kit, and odometry wheel options at studica.com slash robots. Teams in the USA can get up to 25% off and apply for grants at studica.com slash robots. Go ad free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube Join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the join button below to get started. All right, guys, so first question for you is why go with that pivoting slides design? We've seen the double, the dual slides be very effective, but you guys went for the pivot, why? Yeah, so our um, decision was made on um, seeing that a really important, a really important part of the game was to have a really fast, a really fast cycle time on the basket because we wanted to focus on sample. So, a transfer was with the slowest down. So, implementing a fast pivot with a really fast slide, with really fast slides, would perform really well, acting our slides as both as in taking also as out as outing. Yeah, absolutely. I really want to talk about your guys' drivetrain. Let's flip the robot up and take a look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. Walk me through why you have seven bare motors on this robot. So yeah, we removed seven out of eight motor gearboxes because we uh, decided that we need to, sa to save as much weight. So by that we managed to shave out, to shave out almost uh, 1.5 kilograms of extra weight. Okay, wow. Um, man managing to fly over the field and score over 20 samples in therapy. Yeah, and so with this bare motors on your drivetrain, how are you doing that drivetrain gearing now yeah so we have a gear down uh, reduction in two steps so uh, first first step is uh, with a gd2 belt and the other one is with, uh, with a 3m belt okay very cool and why go why the difference in the belts um because uh, we wanted to use only three uh, 3m belts but uh, for bare motors we only found GT2 pulleys, so uh, yeah, that's why. Okay, cool, and I see you guys are running off the odometry, is that true? Yeah. How yeah. experience you recommend it to teams? Anything you did yeah. to make it more consistent? So, um, we used Opti since MTA last year, and uh, it worked really well for us. We also optimized it by adding these uh, 3D, uh, 3D printed uh, mounts that would make the Opti more sturdy and uh, we'll, we'll, demonize, we'll uh, demonize the backlash that it has. Also, adding a pinpoint uh, on our robot was a really uh, big uh, optimization from uh, uh, MTA last year. Awesome, yeah, jumping into the pivot mechanism. All, I really want to talk about the lift, but I want to cover this while we're here. Yeah. That's the only motor on your robot that's not a bare motor. So yeah. walk me through the transmission for that pivot and how it's working. Yeah, being a high torque system, we couldn't uh, make a bare motor. So we used an 84 motor with a gear down from 40 teeth to 48 teeth, and then a normal linkage that uh, will uh, actually do the flip. Awesome, yeah, and as far as backlash or anything like that goes, has that been a concern for you guys or not Yes, in the, uh, in the first part of the season, we had a lot of backlash on our system, but we optimized our linkage by adding end stops, both on our linkage, but also on uh, our uh, drivetrain, so it will hit the end stop when it's right, uh, Right up. Awesome. Yeah. And as far as homing goes with the with the uh, pivot, how do you home it? So. Uh, do you have like an absolute encoder? Or are you just starting in the same yeah. place every time? How does that work? Yeah, we have an uh, ref turbo encoder mounted on our uh, axle that actually drives the linkage. It's a ref turbo encoder, and uh, we don't reset it, so we make sure that we'll hit that uh, zero position every time. Awesome. Yeah. And now jumping into the slides. Hyper optimized is definitely the yeah. word to use here. You went with three slide motors. Did you ever start with one or two, or did you just go with three from the beginning? So our first robot that was a completely different robot has had only one uh, uh, slide motor. So we, we decided we need to switch to three to optimize our cycles. So um, adding three motors really helped our uh, our cycle, so we only have like four second cycle on our best cycle. Yeah. Awesome, yeah, and let's take a look. Can we actuate the slides up and down yes, just once? Course. They are just so blazingly fast. I think we can confidently say fastest slides uh, this season just as a whole. Wow. 
Yeah, and I think one another thing I, I see here is you pocketed the slides. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. So we drilled a lot of holes in our slides to be sure that we save as much space as possible. So for example, uh, one uh, uh, non-pocketed slide had on, had uh, 100 grams of uh, weight, and uh, one pocketed slide had 84, okay. 85. So we managed to, in total, having 10 slides on our robot, we managed in total to to remove uh, 150. Yeah, grams. so it's a little, yeah. it's almost like one and a half slides, yeah, which is so cool. Yeah. And being centralized um, around this lift, being the central mechanism, um, we tried to optimize this mechanism as much as we could throughout the season. So that's why we went for the all-in. Um, and even like thinking about 12 grams, most teams wouldn't do it, but we, we try to do yeah. it as much. And when, with that pocketing, when you're drilling the holes in the slides, how do you make sure you don't have like chips go anywhere and you can be super smooth yeah. when you reassemble? Yeah, it's a really hard process. Like it took, it took us like one whole day to do it on four or 10 slides. Uh, we taped our slides. So uh, all the actual holes that were the bearings are uh, smallly, uh, smallly there uh, are uh, covered and also we are holding uh, two, two vacuums on uh, where, where we are drilling the hole. So make sure that all that uh, extra aluminum it's, is not in, uh, in the Awesome, slide. yeah. Jumping into the stringing on the slides, I see, is it is it strung only on one side yeah. or it's strung yeah. on both sides? Okay. Yeah, string, uh, string on two slides is a little bit bad because you can lose a lot of efficiency by uh, uh, with the tension in the actual string. So mm -hmm. uh, going only for a, uh, one uh, one side string was a conscious de decision since the uh, beginning of the season. Awesome. Yeah. Now jumping into the intake and claw and all of those things. I know a lot of teams have liked adding turrets to their intakes. Why was that something you guys never had the need to do? So we didn't we didn't want to uh, implement a uh, turret because it will uh, affect our uh, extension time. So as I said before, we really wanted to have a really fast extension time mm -hmm. to manage to score over 20 samples in TLP. So we sacrificed that turret knee that was a really big upgrade for autonomous maybe. We, maybe we could get like an eight sample autonomous, mm -hmm. but we chose to go for a seven sample, a seven consistent sample, and we uh, didn't uh, go for the turret. Yeah, and I think a big part of that consistent seven sample is your vision. You guys have this yeah. really cool uh, method where you kind of look from the top and then slam down on the sample. What's going on there? Yeah, so we have our camera implemented on our four bar and a big element of vision this year was perspective and we didn't really want it to do a lot of operations with the perspective that it would have simply uh, using our vision like this. So we uh, took our linkage to a intermediary position and the, uh, put the four bar parallel to the ground, raised okay. our slides, so this way we would have like a top down view of, uh, of a sample. The vision works having uh, um, an HCD mask that it performs uh, can edge detection on and then finds out what really looks like a, like a sample. Awesome. Yeah, that, that is so, so cool. You guys have been so consistent uh, during your matches with that and it's, it's really impressive to see. Another thing I want to ask about is the just the driving. You guys are pretty much the only team I've seen this season that drives full speeds with the slides all the way up. How do you do that? So even uh, removing seven out of eight motor gearboxes, we uh, managed to keep a really low center of gravity because our, our mount mounting of the battery that is right here, also having the motors as, uh, for us, as close to the ground as possible. So um, having a really low center of gravity helped us to not tip over when fully extended. So yeah, that's the main thing. And also, are you adding some weights back here? No. Or what, what are, okay, so no. what are these two right so here? So these are actually the, the mounts that are for the opti Okay, okay, I see, got it. And now talking about driving in general, for specimen also, I guess you guys also have some, uh, uh, you know, optimizations there. Can you show me what system you have going on in the front? Yeah, so here we have like an uh, V-Guide, uh, uh, for our specimens, so we actually are uh, are collecting them from the ground, so like that, and we just drive, we just drive, and then having a guide really helped us with consistency on uh, scoring specimens because you ca you can't always make sure that 
with the claw you can grab that uh, that specimen. So mm -hmm. that that is an uh, added like extra uh, three centimeters on both sides, so of margin of error. Yeah, and now jumping into the hang mechanism, I know you guys yeah. also have a PTO. It's like pretty much every top team this season is running a PTO on their hang. Walk us through how yours works. So we have a PTO system that uh, couples our back of our back drivetrain motors. So when our uh, rear uh, wheel spins, also this gear spins. And when the servo motor couples the PTO, it couples this part right here that will couple with the gear that is spinned by the back, the, by the back motor, and then it will become one system. So how this servo ledge works is like the, the part that actually couples the PTO is, only, is always counter spring, it's spring loaded. It's always spring loaded. So the servo just uh, releases it. Releases it. Yeah, and can you move the slides one more time? We'll see the drivetrain wheels yeah. moving, showing that coupling. Yeah, perfect. Okay, and Eastern Foxes, one more thing is with driver practice. You guys are so, so well driven, just basically mistake free on the field. How? What do you do in your driver practice that makes you different? So, having these robots from the early season, we uh, managed to get a lot of hours of uh, practice. So, um, also, we are trying to practice a lot on uh, the condition that we get on the on the actual competition field. So, with uh, maybe with loud noises, or maybe with uh, a whole whole matches like ten matches uh, one uh, one after another. So, uh, things like that that will make a difference. Very cool. Also, we added defense robots to stop us from getting the best that we can on the robot we, uh, when we're driving solo. So that was another thing that we did for the practice. Awesome. Yeah, Eastern Foxes, thank you guys so much. You've just been absolutely incredible this season. I mean, Franklin Division winner, Think Award, just so many accolades, all well-deserved. I can't wait to see what you bring into next season. Reporting for Fun Robotics Network, I'm Ab Haas, and this is Team 19098, Eastern Foxes. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. StudiCut Robotics is everything your team needs to build, learn, and compete. Check out their FTC starter kit, intake hub kit, and odometry wheel options at studica.com slash robots. Teams in the USA can get up to 25% off and apply for grants at studica.com slash robots. Go ad free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube Join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the join button below to get started.